welcome to an episode of Forza Horizon 4. In this episode, I'm going to be driving two different Mazda Miatas. I'm going to be driving one of the new Miatas and this Miata, which is an old Miata. However, it's had tires put on it, racing tires, very much fatter tires, and some aerodynamic stuff on it, which means that it is very quick, actually. And I've done some engine upgrades. So, when you hit the gas, it really does go. And that was a horrible gear shift. But anyway, what I wanted to do in this episode is drive around through Edinburgh. I want to drive around through Edinburgh and do some tight cornering and that sort of thing, which is what this car excels in because of how just how light this thick car is. Let me give you an example. Let's go down this road. And just see how easily it goes around every single corner. Unless there's a car there. Well, Ridley, this car, it does not take much skill to drive because it just has so much grip and it grips very easily. Now, obviously, if you get the beans in a corner, it does spin out a little. But that's to be expected. It's rear-wheel drive. This has 300 or so horsepower, roughly 300, and this thing goes. They're not just normal horses. They're race horses, pretty much. Take this tight corner there. Really, it's surprising how much grip this car has, and how much fun it is to drive. It's funny just how a few upgrades to this car, such as the aerodynamic stuff on it, and larger wheels, how much that just does for the driving experience in the game. The shifts are really good, mainly because I put a racing transmission in it, but the shifts are nice. Now I'm going to go to a bit of a outer road and see what it can do at higher speeds. Even though the car excels at lower speed maneuvering. Nice with just that corner. And the exhaust note is really nice. Just listen to this. It's really good. This, because this car only weighs about 2,000 pounds, as I have done a lot of weight reduction onto the car, that 2,000 pounds, it, that 2,000 pounds goes right around the corner. Super easy. No issues. Now, obviously, you can go past the limits in this car, as it has a lot of power, so you're able to get up to speeds that it obviously cannot corner at. However, I don't see a point that of trying to go too fast, like right here. Obviously, that's way too fast. Nice around that corner. And then the road gets pretty curvy right here. Kick the tail out a little bit there. Almost hit the wall there. That was pretty close. And then you gotta slow down a lot here so you don't hit the wall. Trust me, I've hit the wall about like 15 different times. Now let's do a little bit of sliding in it. It's funny just how much grip, grip it has, yet you're able to kick the tail out pretty easily. Just as long as you have, you can, if you have a good control of the throttle pedal, you can either mash it through the corner and do a nice slide like this, or you can grip. Which are both excellent because of how much grip the car does have. Most cars that have this much grip just kind of slide out of control whenever you slide them. Okay, so now that we've seen how this old Mazda Miata handles, let's go to a new Mazda. Here's the new Mazda. Don't mind how dumb my character looks. This car definitely looks really nice. However, with all the stuff I've done to it, it doesn't really help the styling. The styling's a lot worse with all the, the wing. That just does not look good. But, it's functional. Take it around some corners here. This car zips around, and it's even better than the old car. Which is surprising, because usually when it comes to car sportiness, if you get an old car, that it, it will weigh a lot less. However, they both weigh about the same, and this car is more modern. And real quick, let's go onto this road for a minute, and see just how it does. And I'm going to shut up for a moment, so you can hear the engine. Okay, 
Okay, I am gonna talk now. Because a YouTube video really isn't a YouTube video if you don't talk. But I could listen to that. I could listen to that exhaust note without any talking in the whole video. And I'm completely running off the road. That's a car. Just pretend like that never happened. But anyway, what I was talking about is that this car does sound so good. It's a throaty engine sound. Now let's see if we can kick the tail out in this car. Now it looks like it's just gonna understeer. But I bet you I can kick the tail out at lower speed. Clutch dump? Nope, didn't work there. Let's try this. Nah, so it looks like this car has so much grip that it does not like to actually kick out the rear. To kick out the rear, you have to do some dumb maneuvering. You see here, it just does not oversteer. I got a little bit of sliding there, but not much really. No, I just book it left. Get around here. Let's see what our average speed is for this zone. And obviously, gotta slow down to the end. Go You've right. Got about 115 or so. Obviously, I've done better, but this car is tremendous fun. Mainly because when you're able to row your own gears in a car, this applies to in real life and a video game, it just adds to the experience. Let's go to the right here. And then, I'm gonna turn left now. What I kinda like about this game is the fact that the game is based in the UK, which means that there are a bunch of small roads and that sort of thing. And what I'm gonna go do now is I'm gonna go find a nice road or whatever, and I gotta float right now. But anyway, I'm gonna go find a nice road and drive on it. And I'll be right back. And I'm actually going to get a different car. I'm gonna go get a BMW Z4 Roadster. So here I am in the BMW Z4 Roadster. And this car has a lot more power than the Mazda does, but it also weighs a lot more. And I think I just ran over something. Anyway. This car is a lot more tail happy than those cars because this car doesn't have all the aero stuff that the other ones did, such as a wing and a splitter. This car can get sideways pretty easily, and it's actually quite a fun car because even though it is still kind of a fat boy compared to those cars, it is quite fun to drive. So let's go to the left here. Let's see what I can do around this corner. Yeah, pretty fun right there. The Mazda that I was just driving, that car really couldn't have done that because that car is more, I would say, a track-focused really car when it comes to the modifications I had made on it. Nice around that corner, really. I had a nice slide going on there. But even though it was a slide, the car is still going pretty much right around the corner. Now, this does not feel like it's on rails like the other cars did, but it's still fun as hell. I must say that I don't really like all that much about being in this game is that this BMW, if you would just like lightly put your foot on the gas, the turbo just goes and gets it super loud. I mean, yeah, if you're driving in a performance way, it's fine, but if you're a weird person and you're just cruising around like this, it's sometimes kind of annoying. Nice small road right here. And you see this roadster does just so go. I'm okay. So anyway, I think that kind of sums up this video. Just some fun with some roadsters, mainly miles does. But anyway, hopefully you like this episode and goodbye.